Hey there folks, it's Antar, and today I am bringing you a OU battle against Bakarigello, I guess that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. Anyway, I met him through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder, and looking over his team, it's actually an interesting mix of Pokemon from different tiers. Um, he might have actually said that he wanted a mixed tier battle, but uh, mixed tier is OU unless you specify two OU, two U, two NU, or something like that. But anyway, so I lead off with Ringo as he leads off with Lucario, and I'm like, Psh, I can, I'm not afraid of you, Lucario. I mean, close combat, not gonna hit me. Extreme speed, not gonna hit me. What are you gonna do against me? So he's thinking, oh, well, I'm gonna set up. And so now I'm actually a little bit starting to get worried. I'm like, okay, well, he has a plus four. What can he do to me at plus four? And I'm just a little bit concerned here. He's down to pretty low HP. He's gonna go for the ice punch here. I'm like, ice punch is that the best you can do? And quite obviously it is. He's gonna die to life orb recoil, which is just sad. And I wish I had um, had better confidence that he was a life orb set and that he had less than 10 uh, 10 HP left. Because then I could have just gone for the recovery and it would have been nice. Anyway, that's gonna come Weavile, and I'm actually predicting him to um, be a Swords Dance uh, Focus Sash set and predict my switch. And he doesn't, and I don't switch, and so Night Slash is going to KO Ringo, and that is really not great, but oh well. Can we get out, go ahead and set up my physically defensive Zapdos, and I'm thinking, okay, well I can take probably pretty much any hit from this guy, and indeed he's going to switch out. Um, actually, what I was trying to do there is scout out his set, and indeed it appears that he's banded, so we're all good in the hood. I'm going to go ahead and T-Bolt, just, you know, be sated, at least I would have broken his Sash. Um, he goes for the Fire Blast here, um, and it's going to actually do a fair amount, but I'm pretty sure that I can uh, to KO this guy, and indeed I do, so down goes Magmortar, and I am a happy, happy camper. So really, we're just swapping KOs here, um, it's going pretty well. Out's going to come Weavile, which really, really leads me to believe that this guy's probably banded. going to switch out my Pazuzu, and switch in my Uchikoma, predicting the um, Ice Punch. Or, I guess the Ice Shard, I, but why would you use Ice Shard? That really wouldn't make sense. Ice Punch it is. Uchikoma's Balloon is going to get popped, and that's okay. Printing the switch here, I'm going to go for the agility just so I can outspeed anyone on this team. Out's going to come D-Knight, and I'm like, okay, well, I knew this was coming. I'm really okay with this. At a, uh, with that agility, I'm going to be faster than him, even if he is Scarfed, which I don't actually think I've seen any Scarfed Dragonites in a very long time. Go for the 4x effective Ice Punch, thanks to his multi-scale he survived. Actually, even if he hadn't had multi-scale, he would have survived, it looks like. Goes for the Dragon Dance, which was not the best idea, because, again, I'm going to be faster than you, um, because I did get off the agility. So, Ice Punch, um, thinking, I wasn't expecting the switch, but, uh, you know, it really makes sense that he did... Uh, I really should have calculated this right here. Earthquake is going to hit, but it is not going to KO Starmie. And here he's going to go for the Hydro Pump, and I guess I was hoping that it would miss or something, but it's not going to, and Uchikoma is going to be taken out. I'm like, well, crap, how am I going to deal with that Dragonite now? Uh, because I don't have entry hazards up, and in fact, looking at his team, I don't really think it's worth it to set up my Toxic Spike, which is the only entry hazards I carry on this team. His Starmie is going to go for the Recover, and this is like, okay, well, I'm really hoping that with no attack investment, a payback, a super effective stab payback, will be enough to KO the Starmie considering they're so frail. And it does! And I'm so happy about this. Starmie is down, and I do not have to worry about that guy anymore. That's going to come Dragonite. And so here, he's about he's at about 50% health. He's going to go for the Dragon Dance, um, predicting me to switch out. But I'm just going to go for the payback and see how much damage it does. Uh, because I need this Dragonite down, and I don't really have anyone to KO it now that Ringo is down, and now that... Uh, Metagross is down, it really wasn't a good play on my part, so anyway, he goes for the Dragon Dance here again, and here I actually go for the Curse, thinking, well, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to KO with just one more Payback. So I go for the Curse, and get my defenses up a little bit higher, and Dragonite's going to go for the Outrage. And I'm like, well, crap, he's at plus two. No way I can survive a plus two Outrage. I survive with ten freaking HP. Mick you are amazing! And I survive, and I take him out, and I, this is just so hilarious! Anyway, there's nothing I can do here. Mick has to be left in his death fodder, and I want to see what he's going to lock himself into. It, he decides to lock himself into Ice Punch, and my pro, pro Umbreon just did so much work. I am so happy. 
Oh, it's gonna come Leela. Obviously, the switch is obvious. Um, I am not a bandit or star set or anything like that. I have just a life orb set, and so I'm gonna go for the Flare Blitz, thinking that it'll hit anyone on his team for a great amount of damage. It one-shots Gardevoir. That is impressive. I am very, very happy with my little Darmanitan. Uh, out's gonna come Weavile. I know he's gonna outspeed, and he's probably gonna KO, but there's really nothing I can do. Um, the Scarf set is probably the better move on Darmanitan. Um, I actually have plans for this team that involves dropping it down to UU, and in that uh, drop down, Leela does gain a Scarf. So, at least that's the current plan. I haven't worked out all the bugs with that team. So anyway, down to my last Pokemon. It is El Kabong. Um, I, I am going to get taken down to my Focus Ash, and I have one hope and one hope alone, and that is the Sleep Powder, sleep powder hitting. It hits, and so now I've got to hope that he stays asleep for long enough that I can KO with uh, two Hidden Power Fires. So here comes the first one. It's going to hit, uh, and it's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, and as I expected, it was not a one-hit KO, and now I've just got to hope that he stays asleep. But another turn, he does, and I'm going to go for the second Hidden Power Fire and win the match. I believe that was a 1-0 victory. And so, yeah, great game, uh, Baka Regello. I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks.